presentado por Bien Brought to You by Bob Arams Top Rank Incorporated, junto con Promociones Sanfer, Márquez Boxing y Tecate, patrocinador oficial. Un combate no titular, pactado a 10 vueltas en la categoría peso ligero. A 10 round non-title bout in the lightweight division. Los jueces son, the judges are, Jacob Barrios, Luis Fitch y Mario Sandoval. El tercero sobre la superficie, Manolo Alcocer. Y ahora, damas y caballeros, veremos quién es el más macho. Presentando la esquina azul, introducing the blue corner. Vestido de negro con vivos blancos. He steps in wearing black, trimmed in white. Detuvo la báscula a un peso oficial de 135 libras. He tipped the scales at an official 135 pounds. Con un récord profesional de 24 victorias. Solo tres derrotas y 18 de sus victorias por la vía del knockout as a professional. He steps in with a record of 24 victories against only three losses. With 18 of those victories coming by way of knockout. El ex campeón mundial peso super pluma de la AMB, the former WBA super featherweight champion of the world, de Barranquilla, Colombia, Lika Ramos. Y en la esquina contraria, en the opposite corner, vestido de negro con vivo rojo, he steps in wearing black trimmed in red. Detuvo la báscula a un peso oficial de 134 libras. He tipped the scales at an official 134 pounds. Y a nivel profesional, mantiene un récord de 52 victorias, con 5 derrotas, un empate y 38 de sus victorias por la vía del cloroformo. As a professional, he enters the ring with 52 victories against 5 losses, 1 draw, and 38 of his victories coming by way of knockout. El ex campeón mundial peso pluma, peso super pluma. Y el actual campeón mundial peso ligero de la OMB y AMB. The former featherweight, former super featherweight. And the reigning WBO and WBA lightweight champion of the world. De la ciudad de México. Juan Manuel Dinamita. So, Manolo Alcazar cleans the ring out, gets the two fighters in for their final few words. Conocemos el reglamento. Estamos en una pelea limpia. Chocan los guantes. Cuando suena la campana salimos peleando. Suerte a los dos. Well, we get Juan Manuel Marquez as the former, well, actually, he's, he's the reigning WBA and WBO champion in the lightweight division. And Lika Ramos is a former world champion. So we get some class in there tonight. We'll see how it goes. And again, Raul, you mentioned that you think it, a lot of ways, it's dangerous for Marquez, but he still needs to stay busy. That's, what, that's how he thinks. Every fighter's different. But I, I think at his level, you know, he's 37 years old. He's already been in big fights. He's going super fights he's been in. And big wars. And big wars, so. And that takes a toll on a guy uh, who's 37 years of age against a 25-year-old. Yeah, and he's, he, you know, Nico Ramos is a veteran fighter with a lot of experience, even though he lost his title in his first defense to Jorge Solis, but he has stopped uh, his last three opponents. Juan was at 140 pounds. So, it's not an easy fight for Juan Manuel Marquez. Well, let's see how it goes here with almost a minute gone here in round number one. Marquez to the right of your screen with a red trim on his black trunks and a little bit of white trim on uh, Ramos's uh, black trunks. Right up around the uh, belt section of uh, Marquez. And red right on his shoes as well. So if you don't know Marquez, and it's hard to believe that you'd be tuned in tonight if you don't know him, but that's the deal. 
first round. The southpaw is Ramos. Yeah, Nico Ramos right now for the southpaw stance. And bald head. Bald head, I should say. All right, that's uh, what you need to know to get this thing rolling here. Coming up to the midway point in round number one. Nothing dramatic yet. Mikhail looks like he's come to fight, though. And that's the danger of a guy 37 fighting a, a real good and former champion at 25. He's trying to counter Juan Manuel Marquez. Kind of leading back and coming in with a 1 2 straight ahead down the middle, which caught Marquez coming in. Oh, there you he go. He caught him with a shot, and he uh -oh. may not be able to recover from this. His eyes are shut. It's all over. They're going to get the doctor in there. It's scored a first round. It's not scored. It is wow. a first round knockout for Juan Manuel Marquez. This guy's still out. It looks like he caught him with a very powerful left it hook. Right on the button. Right on the button. And yes. when the referee saw those eyes clinch closed like that, he stopped the count. So it's a first round knockout for Marquez. So other than keeping himself in shape in the training session of this, he still has pinpoint punching power against a very good former champion in Lika Ramos. How about that? That's something we didn't expect, the first round knockout. No, we didn't. We didn't expect it to be that easy for Juan Manuel Marquez. But hey, the sooner, the better. He was risking a $5 million guaranteed payday for, for Manny Pacquiao. Now that's next. And it's like he you showed, and I. He showed power. Here we see how oh, yeah, he did watches. it. Jab. Oh, that was right the right the hand. Yeah, it was down the mid, right down the middle. The jab. Here we see the jab. That's it. Right there. I right on it, the button. I thought it was a left hook. The referee right. was standing in that position. I thought it was a left hook. It was, it was a right hand. Right hand. Right down the yes. middle. Wow, what power. And there's no question about it because we got Ramos' eyes were split tightly shut. He's knocked out. Let's hope he's okay because he's still down, but his eyes are open. So Raul Marquez will go up into the ring and speak with Juan Manuel Marquez, who scored a dramatic first round knockout here. Before we do that, we want to make sure that Lika is okay. He got the cold towels on him. I can see him and his eyes are open, so that's a good sign anyway, but he was knocked out cold. I the referee between me and the fighters, and I, I thought I saw the left hand fly, and I may have, but obviously the replay showed that he blasted him with a straight right hand that knocked him out cold. Here's the situation as you see it, the ice on the head, the cold towel on the face. His eyes are open, so he is coming around. Thank God for that. I don't want to see anybody hurt. And remember, this guy that Juan Manuel has defeated as a professional is a very, very good fighter. 24 and 3 with 18 knockouts. And he's a guy that had good power in both hands, and he was starting out boxing well, and he wasn't afraid of Juan Manuel, but he made one mistake. Dropped his hands a little bit, and that right hand got through there, and he caught him as flush as you can catch a guy. And now, Lika Ramos is seated and now standing in the crowd. He says, uh, great, they, they applaud him, and they sit him down immediately. And of course, it's difficult to tell if there's any serious damage done to him, but at least he's conscious and, and sitting up. Let's watch this right hand again. It is the left that I thought clipped him, but then it was the right hand. That really right on the button. And his eyes were clinched closed and left foot quivering a little bit. Right hand shot. Wow. What power. Well, the stage is set now with this one punch from Manny Pacquiao. And wouldn't Juan Manuel Marquez loved to be able to do that to Manny, and I'm sure Manny's watching in the Philippines tonight. 
Manny, I know you've got two close decisions over him. Well, at least a draw and a close decision. And the world wants to see you fight this guy and then Mayweather, of course. Whether that'll happen, we don't know. But if anyone can do it, Bob Arum can. Juan Manuel Marquez, his record goes to 53 and 5 with a draw and 39 knockouts. He could retire with that and go right to the Hall of Fame, but he's a fighter at 37 and wants to continue. For one big last payday against uh, Pacquiao. and namely El De Monte Raul gets in there we'll have it for you as we show you the big big knockout boom the right hand everything there the left hand just cleared the vision oh and his head was even up in the air so the chin was right there look at that wow it's the power See that left hand which I thought was the big hand because I, I saw that when the ref was positioned in between me and the two fighters and then I realized when we saw the first replay at the same time you saw it that it was a right hand power shot right down the middle with Lika with his uh, head up in the air and everything was set up. So Damas y caballeros, is a Lupe. la dinamita explota con un tiempo oficial de un minuto 47 segundos del primer asalto. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to an explosive end with an official time of one minute, 47 seconds of the very first round. Your winner, by way of knockout, el vencedor por knockout, Juan Manuel Dinamita Marquez. Uh, we're going to wait now for uh, Raul Marquez to interview Rafael, but while we do, we'll show you exactly what happened here tonight. A whole night started out with a scheduled 12-round WBA Junior Flyweight Championship of the World.